Vintage has been turned into a buzzword that's mostly being used to attract a certain group of consumers. These new orange petals come from their Vintage series, but this time you can actually take this word at face value. Let's get started. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Base the World. I'm your host Gregor Fries and on Base we have Mr. Lars Lehmann today. Let me start this video with a question. When it comes to pedals, what does vintage actually mean? Of course it indicates that these pedals are somehow old, but I think there's a lot more subtext to this. Back in the days players didn't have pedal boards. Everyone had one, maybe two pedals and in most cases that was it. Which means no one really cared how big these stomp boxes were back then. In the 70s most pedals looked somehow like this. Or like this. Or this. In some extreme cases even like this. Only when MXR and Boss hit the market the majority of pedals became more compact. But for me vintage in terms of pedals also means another thing and I'm talking about a massive headroom. These old pedals sounded just big and juicy and that's a quality that with many modern designs often seems a little bit lost. I'm talking about something like this. <laughs> These two orange pedals tick all the boxes. I love and own quite a few vintage pedals and hearing these makes me very very happy. Let's start with the phaser. Besides being an absolute thing of beauty it's also one of the biggest ones I've ever heard. Not seen obviously that would be clearly be the, <laughs> uh, the by phase by Musictronics. But sound wise this is an absolute giant. I wouldn't be surprised to at some point find out that the internal electronic stuff is somehow related to the phase 90. They certainly have a similar vibe, uh, but this is obviously a lot bigger sound wise and dimension wise. At some point in the recording session with Lars we realized that there's an orange based the world base from Sandberg in my collection. Uh, let me get it sorted. Color matching is never underrated. And now let's hear these two orange beauties together. <laughs> and oh women and of course oh, oh diverse people I love this so much what an absolutely brilliant sounding phaser and I love this simplicity it's just one knob it's just a speed control this screams vintage unless of course when it comes to its functionality this has things like a modern day 9 volt power in this one here only runs on batteries and of course uh, modern pedals like this are much much more reliable it's a noiseless true bypass designs and these are two concepts that were very much still foreign when this was beat. I mean heck this one doesn't even have an LED. Let's move on to the sustain pedal. This is of course a compressor uh, which doesn't even compress that hard but in good old school fashion it makes everything sound bigger and better. There's an LED color changing indication once the signal hits the threshold but as you've probably seen uh, we didn't even get it there. But it doesn't really matter because compressors like this really already do their magic way before the indications kick in. I like my compression subtle and will rather uh, stack different ones in post than using one big one on the way in to crush all the dynamics which is a thing that is later often regretted. The sustain comes with two knobs. Depth controls the amount of compression and level helps you to get your bass back to its normal volume. 
or a bit more in case you want to use it also as a great sounding boost. <laughs> Hi, the video editing Gregor from a few hours in the future here. At the last sample that you just heard, I actually I re amped this through the pedal again to give it more compression because, I mean, we want to hear what it sounds like if there's a lot of compression. So, yeah. So there's double compression now. Double. On with the video. There's also a distortion in this vintage pedal line, but the guys from Orange said that these two are much better suited for bass. I absolutely love those. I know I say that often in my reviews, but this time I really mean it even more. This is right up my alley if you're not afraid of the size, especially the height, and you have a craving for big, fat, juicy sounding pedals, uh, this is exactly what you should be looking for. If you want to check them out, there are links to different dealers in the UK, in the US and in Europe in the video description below. And if you order anything through those, not just these, I mean literally anything through these links, we as a channel get a little kickback from these dealers. That's just a very easy way to support us and doesn't cost you a penny. And yeah, that's it, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, don't hesitate to smash the like button below. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more. And again, see you next time when we do more, I guess, space videos of sorts. Bye-bye.